In Packet Tracer, I'm going to start a simulation mode. And then on PC1, I'm going to open up a web browser and go to cisco.com. Now, the first thing the PC needs to do is determine the IP address of cisco.com. So it's going to send out a DNS request message for cisco.com. So scrolling down here, notice we've got a DNS query for cisco.com. Capture forward, that gets sent to the router. When it gets sent across the serial link, notice the DSCP is set to zero. No quality of service is applied to this packet. So that'll go to the DNS server. DNS server will reply back. Packet will go back to the PC. And now the PC can send TCP traffic to the router. PC is going through the three-way handshake. Notice now we get HTTP traffic. Notice on inbound, HTTP traffic, in this case we've got an HTTP request, doesn't have DSCP markings, but on outbound, out of the router, the DSCP is set. So capture forward, notice how this packet has a little square here, showing us that DSCP was set on ingress, DSCP is also set on egress. So capture forward, what you'll notice is we have this little square to indicate that a quality of service value has been specified on the packet. Inbound and outbound shows us the DSCP marking. On the return, no quality of service has been applied because we applied the policy inbound on this interface and outbound on this interface. So on router one, notice no quality of service is configured on the packet. You have to think about your direction when configuring quality of service. No quality of service is configured here. But notice on this packet, going from the inside PC to the outside PC, ingress has no DSCP. Egress, however, does have a DSCP marking configured. So quality of service has been configured. Ingress on router two and egress on router two. So that was HTTP. Let's try the same thing using ICMP. So ping cisco.com. I'll put this to simulation mode. Press enter. Notice we have a DNS message. No quality of service is applied on this packet. So the packet received from router one doesn't have the DSCP configured and router two is not setting DSCP on egress. Because back to the PC, here's our ICMP message. Notice inbound, no DSCP marking, but outbound out of the router, we do have a DSCP marking. And you can see the color here, notice the little pink square. Inbound, we've got this DSCP marking, outbound, we don't have a DSCP marking. And that's because we configured the router to reset the DSCP or IP precedence of value to zero on egress. So this is set to zero ingress, a DSCP value is configured. Now these values can be difficult to read. Remember the type of service field is eight bits in length. So you'd have to convert this into your DSCP value of AF11. AF11, 
has a decimal value of 10 or hexadecimal value of A. You can get details of all those calculations in my CCNA course, or you can have a look online. Capture forward for that ICMP packet. There is no DSCP value, no precedence value, because we reset it to zero. Let's do something similar with PC2. So on PC2, I'll ping facebook.com. First packet generated is DNS. DNS will not have DSCP values configured because we didn't configure that in our policy. But notice now, when an ICMP packet hits router one, ingress, DSCP is zero, egress or outbound, the DSCP value has been configured. Capture forward when it gets to router two. Ingress a value is this. Egress a value is set to zero because we overwrote it once again. Let's do something similar with HTTP. So on PC2, open up a web browser, go to facebook.com. First packet generated is DNS. No quality of service is configured on this packet again. But when we get uh, the HTTP packet from PC2, the DSCP value is configured accordingly to 1A, which is AF31. When it gets to router 2, ingress is DSCP 0x1A, egress is DSCP 0x18. And that's forwarded into the internet. Not that the internet would do anything with the quality of service markings, but this lab shows you how to configure quality of service markings in Packet Tracer. So were you able to complete the lab? Were you able to configure quality of service in your network? Did you prove that it worked correctly? Mm -hmm.